How about a trip to BK? I think I'm gonna get me one of their bacon, what is it, A1 uh, bacon cheeseburger thingies or something. I don't even know. Oh, they got a new way in. I didn't even know about this. And we'll try the little Mac and Cheetos thing. Yeah, why not? Yeah, the A1 Ultimate Bacon Cheeseburger. That's what I'm thinking about, along with the Mac and Cheetos. Okay, I like to get a, an A1 Ultimate Bacon Cheeseburger and uh, an order of Mac and Cheetos. And that's it. So you just want the sandwich and some Mac and Cheetos? Yes, please. Anything else? That'll do it. Bye, Mindy. Thank you. All right. $10. And we're going to wait a minute. we got a line. Wow, well, Ford won't move up so the other car can get to their order. This is good. Real coordinated here, BK. Uh, finally, I'm up next. Thanks a lot. And, okay, good. Oh. All right. Well, we got two things. That should be enough. We'll check it out at the house. All right. Well, let's break them out here. See what we got. The A1 burger and the order of Cheetos. Yeah, a little greasy. Actually, maybe from the burger. Actually. It's a small box. Okay, you get five of them. <laughs> okay, and how much do we pay for these? The Cheetos five piece, two forty nine. The A one bacon cheeseburger, six fifty nine. Wow, that's an expensive burger. Man, now we'll open it up here and take a look. See what it's all about. I've been wanting to try this, but you know, I didn't want to get just an order of Cheeto, you know, Mac and Cheeto thingies without something, you know, something big to go with it. So, all right, so there you go. We got onions, A1 sauce, looks like a double burger. Um, where's the bacon? <sighs> you gotta be kidding me. This is an A1. Oh, there's the bacon. Wow, buried under the sauce, there's just little chunks I mean, it looks like it's one strip broken it broken up into pieces. I mean, you can't even really see it. And there's a piece on the corner. There's a piece. There's a piece. Wow, that's it. I mean, there's like nothing in between, just melted cheese. Um, okay, nothing underneath the bun or underneath the second patty. Wow, that's a little disappointing. <laughs> um, for six fifty nine, yeah, I expected uh, a little more bacon on there at least, but. Oh well, we'll try it out. See what uh, see what they taste like here. Okay, BK. Let's see, I've been wanting to try this um, bacon. What is it? I keep forgetting. The A1 bacon cheeseburger. It's supposed to be ultimate bacon cheeseburger, but obviously, you know, like I said, based on what I'm seeing, it's not much in the way of you know in the bacon department there. Um, I'm going to try the Cheetos first, just in case this starts messing with my taste buds, which can happen. So this is the new thing that BK has come out with. Uh, Cheetos coating mac and cheese. Okay, so there you go on the inside. Basically your mac and cheese in there with uh, Cheetos coating. Well, that's a little different. Definitely tastes like mac and cheese and Cheetos dust. It's a weird, it's a weird combo. 
and weird taste as well. Huh. Hmm. You know, at least you get the powder coating from the Cheetos dust, like if you're eating really, you know, real bag of Cheetos. Try one more here. Yeah, they do. They taste kind of, kind of strange. I mean, they're, I mean, I don't know. They're, they're unique. Uh, I mean, it's, it, they taste all right. I wouldn't say they're great. Um, you know, all the hype that I've been hearing. You know, they, these came out when we were in Mexico, so I'm just now a little bit late to the review um, field on these. But, uh, well. Yeah, I mean, they really, you know, it does taste like mac and cheese with Cheeto dust. <laughs> That's a little tough to imagine, but I guess you probably just need to taste it to understand. Well, hmm. Okay. Well, so there's that. I mean, overall, they're okay. For the price, two fifty for five of them. I don't know, maybe. Maybe that's fair. You know, for five of them. Uh, we'll see. But anyway, I mean, like that, they're, they're mediocre at best. You know, kind of in between. You know, yes, they got a good taste, but at the same time, they're kind of like, uh, you know, it's a blend. Blend between two, two flavors mixed together, which, you know, is a bit unique in itself. So now, the... Bacon, the A1 Ultimate Bacon Cheeseburger. You know, a little, very little bacon from what I see. We'll see how it tastes. Yeah, it tastes pretty good. The flame broiled patties and uh, the A1 sauce. It's actually a good combo. Um, yeah, I'm not tasting much bacon. Hmm. I mean, flavor is pretty good. This this actually does taste the A1 and the grilled patties. Yeah, it's actually it's actually pretty good. Um, I'm not tasting much bacon, so there's not much to see, not much to taste in the bacon department. And lots of onions, you can definitely taste the onions, that's for sure. So, hmm. Well, Yeah, taste is pretty good. I'll give it that. The price, I think it's a bit much, especially with what little bit of bacon they put on there. I mean, literally, it looks like one strip broken up into about five or six pieces. Yeah, it's quite disappointing. That's like, you know, the Baconator review I did at Wendy's. Um, it was severely lacking in bacon, um, in my opinion. But uh, I think this one is as well. But. You know, other than that, I mean, it tastes good. The A1 steak sauce, the onions, the two uh, flame broiled patties, the cheese. I mean, that's, you know, it does, it's got a good good combination, good flavor to it. But it needs more bacon. <laughs> yeah. Now, that may be just from... The Burger King I went to. Usually I go to another one. We've got a couple in town, so I figured I'd give that one a shot. Um, as disorganized as uh, they were in the drive-thru. Maybe why this uh, Ultimate Bacon Cheeseburger is lacking in the bacon department. They just slapped it together real quick. 
and uh, at least got some bacon on there compared to, you know, maybe none at all. So, there you go. There's my review of the A1 uh, Ultimate Bacon Cheeseburger. I don't think it's ultimate, in my opinion. Um, price, $6.59. Yeah, I'm not impressed with that. And <clears throat> the five-piece Mac and Cheetos, new from BK. It's actually, they're actually decent. I mean... Yeah, I guess maybe the price is fair. Two fifty for five pieces. It's brand new, um, and it definitely tastes like mac and cheese with Cheeto dust uh, on it. So the flavor is there, that's for sure. So there you go. That's my take on uh, two new items from BK's menu, and uh, I'll finish these up off camera. So hope you like the review, and if you're interested, go check them out. And thanks for watching.